Bigamrepair.com. We're all in this together. Alternators, alternators, on alternators. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. So I am tickled to offer you a new line of alternators we came out with from USA Diesel, our sister company. So we have a 170, a 240, a 320, and a 370. And so all these alternators, those are peak numbers, but they are all amazing output alternators. They, um, they go ahead and solve a lot of problems for you. Now, which one you need for your Power Stroke 6 liter? It depends on your application, right? What part of the country do you live in? Do you have long trips? Do you have short trips? Do you have aftermarket auxiliary accessories? Um, you know, what do you have going on? Um, so let's start with this guy, the 170. Um, this is actually, it's really the, the smallest alt that I recommend to anybody um, that, that runs a power store. Um, so I don't care if you live in, in South Florida, um, you know, you still have an amperage draw. So on a 50 degree morning, your glow plug stand for about 45 seconds after ignition. And so, and by the way, on a zero degree morning, it's like two minutes, but um, with the glow plugs running, uh, you, you start with like a 230 amp draw um, against the charging system. It's like, holy shlinkies, I mean, that's just a lot. And so the more of that that you can cover, the better off you are. Uh, so what alternator to get? There's no right answers here. What I like about this alternator is that this is the only one of the four that does not necessitate auxiliary cabling. It's a bolt-in and go, nothing more to do. They do all have eight millimeter charge studs on them, so you will have to say, well, nothing more to do. You have to drill out the ring terminal on your factory uh, deal, like literally a sixteenth of an inch to get your ring terminal to slide on here, but that's it. Outside of that, same tensioner, same same um, same pulley, same belt, nothing, no, no difference in cabling, everything just works for you. All four of these alt-meters are super high efficiency alt-meters as a result of the fact that they use what's called a hairpin stator. And so uh, what the hairpin stator means is that if you look at the front of the alt-meter, what you'll see is you'll see that the windings it's not the copper that you're used to seeing from before, um, where you see copper comes out and it makes it a 180 degree bend and it comes, it comes right back. No, this comes out, makes a hard 90, makes a hard 90 again, and you're, and you're back to where you were. So the short answer on that is you end up with um, about 30% more copper and you end up with a far more efficient alternator. And so it's like, okay, fine. Now in your power stroke alternators, the number one thing to fail in the alternators, it's not the bearings, it's not the brushes, it's the voltage regulator. The reason why is the stock alternator, two volt, the reason why is the stock alternator only does 75 amps at cold idle. You got a 230 amp draw. So what does it mean? I mean, right after the truck starts. And so what does it mean? It means that the alternator spends its life playing the little engine that could. You know, I think I can, I think I can. And so it burns out the regulator. All of these alternators, they use 12, di 12 diodes inside of them. And so as a result of the 12 diodes, you end up with regulator durability. It's just a better deal for you. These also use SKF branded high heat bearings. So the bearings aren't gonna burn out on you. They use OEM brushes, OEM brush holders. And so there's no quality issues there. It's Denso internals. Uh, every single one of these units is dyno tested before it leaves, before it gets put in a box to verify that, that the alternator does function, that there wasn't a, you know, some, some oops in assembly or whatever. Uh, they all have uh, heat sinks uh, for the rectifiers that are made out of aluminum, so it's good, super good heat dissipation. Um, there's a, a, a 24 month uh, warranty on these, so if there's a problem, uh, we'll take care of you for, for, for two years under warranty. Fine, great. Even after the two years, we'll still take care of you for uh, what amounts to the wholesale cost of the parts and no labor charge. And so that's pretty slick. And if you decide to sell your truck in the future, and you, you go out and you buy a Power Stroke 6, 7, or a Cummins, or whatever, um, in the, there's, a, there's a case option for that truck. We'll actually recase these alternators to work in that next truck because you know no one's going to give you another five nickels for your truck because you're running some wicked awesome alternator. And so it's like, ugh. so maybe if you're doing this as an upgrade and your existing alternator is still fine, maybe hang on to that puppy as a spare or whatever. But then also when it comes time to sell the truck, you could elect to 
uh, keyword elect, you could elect to swap back into that stalker and move this alt letter on onto the next vehicle. So going through the specs here, we'll put them up uh, for you, but going through the specs here, this is a 170 amp alt letter. It does 120 or so amps at cold idle. This is a 240 amp alt litter. It does 190 amps at cold idle. This is a 320 amp alternator. It does 240 amps at cold idle. This is a 370 amp alt litter. It does 250 amps at cold idle. Now the reason why I'm concentrating on cold idle so very much is that's when the vast majority of you guys have your massive crazy oh my god amperage draws, right? So that's when the glow plugs are running. But if you are figuring some crazy stereo, you got a half a dozen 15 inch subwoofers and whatnot, and uh, you're just you know, burning out the amps, you know, um, on them by, because the number one way to kill any amplifier is inadequate supply side voltage, which by the way, a nice little tangent there as well. Uh, Thickums fail, fuel injection control modules fail due to inadequate and spiky supply side voltage. And so the reason to do the upgrade is to go ahead and say, hey, I just don't want to have to give you my money for a Thickum. Guys, if we can prevent you from to buy a Thickum, that's a win for us. So yes, by all means, 100%. So the cold idle amperage is where it's at. So how much of this 230 amp draw do you want to cover and how long do you see this draw for? You know, if, if you live in, um, in Padre Island, you know, uh, Texas, uh, that's a whole different deal than if you live in Fargo, North Dakota, right? So how long are your glow plugs on? Um, so again, there's a 230 amp draw. It stays for up to two minutes after, after ignition. So it's 120 amps uh, at, at cold idle. It's 190 amps at cold idle. It's 240 amps at cold idle. It's 250 amps at cold idle. So these two alt layers cover the entirety of the glow plug nut. Um, these, the, this one covers the vast majority of it. And this one covers about, oh well, a little better than half. But Certainly, even a little bit than half, it's like 50% more alt than the stocker ever did. So, uh, the other things is like, okay, well, what does it do at hot idle? What does it do at max amps driving down the road? So let's talk about that quickly. Um, this one at hot idle, the 170, it does 110. Um, this one does, the 240, it does 180 uh, at hot idle. The, the 320 does 220 at hot idle and the 370 does about 225 or so at high idle. Driving down the road, the most you're gonna get out of this guy uh, is 150 amps. The most you're gonna get out of this guy is 230 amps. The most you're gonna get out of this guy is 300 amps. And this gal here, uh, 310 amps. So which alt litter is for you? I don't know, every situation is different, but these are USA made uh, alternators. Uh, they're USA diesel branded. We've been around for a long time actually. We're not going anywhere. So if you have a problem, we'll be there to help you. Um, and, uh, and, and, and really the goal is just to help you, not to steer you down a particular path. Just to say in your situation, what do you need? What's super nice about this alt litter is it doesn't require any kind of auxiliary cabling. So uh, we're going to be coming out with a cabling video uh, real soon uh, that's going to talk about the cabling options. But with this one, it's just bolted and go. These other ones, they all necessitate uh, cabling being piggybacked on top of the factory's wiring. So it's not just the you know the $515 for the salt litter. Um, it's the cable cost too. So please bear that in mind. At time of this video. Uh, this alt layer is $379.99, uh, so the 170 is 379 the 240 is, uh, is $515, the 320 is $724.99, and then the, uh, the, the big bad boy here, the 370 is $815. So if you want these um, in custom colors, we can do that for you as well. There's just lead times on that, so if you want it in the red or the green or the blue or the pink or whatever, we can hook you up. Uh, so if that's interesting to you, uh, but they're available on our website. They're available for purchase right now. And uh, we are super excited to bring them to you on the, on the, on the, on the market. And then, um, yeah, off to the races. So do check out my wiring video, though, um, when it comes out. And if you haven't yet liked and subscribed to us, what are you doing? Please like and subscribe to us and let us know what content you want to see. Uh, we will make certain that we spend the time to get that content out there for you and that way you're not swimming in the deep end, okay? So, figure out to come, we're all in this together 
Anything else you need? We got you. We haven't been on price in 11 years. We price match for 30 days after the sale. The goal is never to sell you stuff. It's just to tell you stuff. I own six of these trucks. There's clearly and obviously things wrong with me, but if I've made a mistake that's cost me money over the years, um, I'd much rather uh, have it not cost you money. There might, might, as well, might as well be something out of this, okay? So thanks very much for your time. Uh, tell your friends, uh, and we'll, we'll take good care of you and we'll see you on the flip side. If you have custom questions you need to answer, feel free to call us, 515-897-4459 uh, with us. And uh, yeah, look forward to, to, uh, to chatting with you. Thanks very much, appreciate the time.